More family fun and frolics tonight at 8pm on The Benny Hill Show. But first, it's our friendly Thames men. Good. I well, I'm highly motivated. I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles, and I'm highly motivated. I'm Alexander, and I'm a bit like a candle. Uh, I'm bright, but you have to push me here. You have to carry me around. You know what I mean? Uh, I was just going to say skinny with a thin wick. Oh! <laughs> oh! I don't. I, there's no comeback to that because the hat's bang on. <laughs> Anyway, don't don't and, don't get carried away now. Just stay on top. You know what I mean. A faint whiff of vanilla. Anyway, should have left it there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're in the middle of um, day five. Day, day five. Day day five of Neil Finn, and mm. it was Ross. Now we know it's Ross. Thank you, Ross. <laughs> Sorry, Ross. Ross. Still apologising. Ross, Ross from Redfern. Um, we would totally overdo it on the graphics on the first two videos where we didn't mention his name, weren't we? We'd just yeah. overdo it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just like splash. Ross, yeah. Ross, Ross, Ross. Ross. <laughs> I'm actually going to get a map. Ross, send me your actual address. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll zoom in on your house. Yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> Ross from Redfern, go around knocking on the door, telling me he's a superb bloke. Put Neil Finn and Crowd of the House right into our vision and we've done a curator week and we're on day five and it is absolutely superb. <sighs> So good, and and like, uh, yeah. So 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 we're moving on to a, another crowded house track, and I got a couple of little notes on this one, and there's a bonus coming up afterwards, which I'm really looking forward to because it's, it's going to feature another favourite. Well, we must so anyway, well, we must well tell people who it is. We're going to be featuring uh, Paul Kelly. Paul uh, Kelly yeah. doing a duet with uh, Neil Finn. Well, anyway, so uh, so it's so just short notes on this one. So the, the track's Into Temptation, live at o- Sydney Opera House, this version. And it says, if you ever needed an example of how convincing Neil Finn's songwriting is, consider this. Sharon Finn thought Neil was cheating on him because of this song. He was. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So. What would he do? Does he... Whip his candle out and light it on the guitar. <laughs> Drags a lady out of the audience. <laughs> just, yeah, just, just with a pair of underpants in his mouth and tries to sing no, a song. Nothing going on here. No, no, nothing no, going no, on. No, 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 no. It's just a song. Just, it's an artistic like, license. Tits in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so, he doesn't seem like that in time. Really, well, no, he just sings about it. I oh, think very convincing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I bet he's not singing about tits in the face, though. <laughs> it's hard to rhyme. I think he's a better, a better songwriter than... Better, better yeah, exactly. This Good one's written, not. tits in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold, the tits that's in the a, face. That's like uh, our friend's uh, elephant <coughs> cool boy or whatever they're called. Eskimo cool boys, yeah. So electric cool boys, yeah, that's it. Anyway. Done? <laughs> yeah. <I'm, I'm, laughs> okay. I think I'm done. Should we just go on with the music? All right, then. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Sits in the face. <laughs> My nail fin. Uh, it's alternate name. <laughs> oh, dear. No, this one is uh, Into Temptation. Stroke. No, 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 Stroke. Tits in the face. Tits in the face. All, All right. right. <laughs> Live. Oh, Live. 
Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay. he could... No, no. Chew we don't need, we don't no. need graphics. All right. No, it's like, it's like the vanilla smell. It's just enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not the, uh, no, they should have left it. I should have left it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three. Are you ready? Two, one, boom. Break the spell 
He can write a song. <sighs> he, he could sing a song. <sighs> I love that song. Uh, you could see why. If how do you write a song like that without having been into Temptation? Like you'd be able to like like the, like our note said. You know, it'd be very hard to argue that. Oh no, it's never happened to me. The guy is absolutely. I mean, uh, we've we've um, Ross has given us from the beginning of the career all the way through. The guy's voice has never failed. No, and, and he's he hasn't particularly aged either. He looks no. great and he sounds great and he sounds relevant. Yeah, all yeah, the yeah. way through, all the tracks sound relevant from day one all the way through. They're just exquisitely written. Well, you can see why he's he's had such longevity and such and so held in such high esteem because you know he is the real deal. He is one of those people who are ridiculously talented, who who can just perform, play, you know, hold 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 your attention, you know. But the textures he builds, and also the yeah. singing lines he chooses, and the phrases he chooses, and the timing when to come in is so very different from everyone else. It's not yeah. metric. It's not on the beat. He'll yeah. wait a second and then come in with a completely, you know, vocal line that you, I, you would be very you hard to write. Unexpected. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Every yeah. time. And it's wonderful and it works perfectly. It must be so hard to find those vocal lines. And he, he seems to find them again and again and again and again. I'd, I'd love to understand like more about the creative process. I mean, we said when we started this week about you know, split ends that you know they've been going for like ten years, and it wasn't until he joined that they sort of had their first success when he wrote some tracks and things like that. But uh, as he moved in through to Crowded House, is it all like the Neil Finn show, or is Crowded House actually a collection of of of, of uh, you know, obviously they're really talented musicians, they play great tunes. Is it all Neil Finn, or do do they also contribute? I'd like to sort of know a bit more about their process as well. I think. I don't know. Well, there were some musicians. We did Stevie Win Steve Winwood the other day, oh, and yeah. uh, he started. He first started uh, on the circuit as a fourteen year old, and every band he was in was famous. Um, right, right, and right. he seemed to be the magic ingredient that went through every single band, you know? Right, right, right. Traffic um, and all that. Right? Absolutely. Traffic. And uh, I'm trying to think of the first band he was in at 14. It was Spencer Davis Group or, um, right. or whatever. And, and it, it seems like this guy, absolutely, again, his songwriting. He's, he is the, the Midas touch. Isn't I mean, you if know, you're a grade, if, gold if you're grade A, you're going to get grade A people around you all the time. Yeah, and I'm sure, sure, I'm sure that, you know, it's not just him. He's got grade A musicians who all contribute, but... You've got to have that. You've got to have this brilliance to pull these people together. Well, we've got a bonus yeah. track talk about pulling people together, and I actually kind of excited by this one because this is Neil Finn with Paul Kelly, and I, and like if if Neil Finn is a, is an iconic songwriter, so is Paul Kelly, and uh, and we've got a bonus track of them playing together, um, doing uh, the, the same track into Temptation, uh, and this is uh, so the notes say of this. What do they say? Um, it says uh, here, in 2013, Neil teamed up with Australian singer and songwriter Paul Kelly, a family affair with Neil's son on the drums and Paul's nephew on guitar. They took tong turns with songs, and this was part of an amazing night. I was there, says Chris. Yeah, Chris, fantastic. Yeah, yeah so um, so I, I can't wait to see this, because, I mean, you know, this is like, you know, if, if it's like bringing together two, two sort of like... Antipodean that. royalties. Yeah, exactly. All right, well let's said. do it. Can you spell it? Can I spell it? Jesus <laughs> Christ. What key is it in? A G. You hum it, I'll play it. Okay, go All on. right. You good. Three, two, one, boom. You opened up your door. Couldn't believe my love You and your new blue dress Taking away my breath The cradle is soft and warm Couldn't do me no harm You show me how to give into temptation, knowing full well the earth will rebel into temptation. 
a model of nervous words. Could never amount to betray sentences all my own. The price is to watch it fade. And as I turn to go, you look at me for half a second with an open invitation for me to go into temptation. Something about a stripped down song, just a man and a guitar and a mic is magic. I was lost there. I was absolutely lost there. And um, yeah, it's when it's deconstructed, you take it down to the raw elements and there's no hiding behind any production. There's no hiding behind any flash solos. And it's just the raw ingredients. And it's very vulnerable for them to get up and do that song. And they did it brilliantly. Yeah, I, I, again, they're so distinctive. I, the more I hear Paul Kelly as well, the more I like him. You know, the more he, hear Neil Finn, the more I like him. Well, both of them actually. Yeah, exactly. And how now, nice now, and how how humble that they're doing each other's songs. Right? I would like to. I'd like to see uh, you know uh, Neil Finn do a Paul Kelly song now. No, agreed. But I mean, yeah. you get these megalomaniacs who they're just like, yeah, look at me, look at my bling or whatever. And and then then we've got two great superstars, each yeah. paying honor to each other. Yeah, uh, by doing yeah, yeah. each other's song. And um, Paul Kelly just did a fantastic version and learnt all the lyrics. It just was brilliant in, in homage to Neil Finn and vice versa. Brilliant. So egoless. Yeah, exactly. That was lovely. That was really good. I mean, what a week we've had. So, yeah, that's our fifth day. 
and we've got one more day left and i don't know how you can top any of these tracks because they are absolutely stunning you know all of them i always thought i was a bit of a music nerd and i thought you know and and i had a good grasp on it and then and then i've been completely besummoked by neil finn i did <laughs> not know right i knew crowded house i didn't know i i heard split ends but i didn't know any of the catalog particularly yeah I didn't realise what a master songwriter he was. I think I need to start with like a, a Split Ends album. If there is like one Split Ends album as a con- like the whole, is it like their first album? Is it their second? Is it their third? Where where if you were to say just give me one because I like to have the whole experience with like on vinyl the whole thing. What would it be? Which would be the one I want to know? You know because that was great. Like I said, was there a twelve inch on one of them? I know where to get one. What in Redfern? What? Just go to Ross's house, you know. He's probably we'll got go to, a we'll lot. Pop over to Ross. I'm sure we could go and have yeah. a listening party. Yeah, Ross, yeah, you better yeah. invite us down to New Zealand because we have never been there. We would like to go to Redfern, and we've looked it up on the internet, and there's tours and everything. So you know, we're yeah. ready. To and we, we only travel. We'll travel business class. Is fine. We're okay with that. You know. Yeah, we're good. We're just good send the that. tickets over. Yeah, it'll be fine. No worries. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ross, for putting this curator week. And if it wasn't for our subscribers doing all this amazing work, we wouldn't be able to do these uh, these amazing weeks. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And also Chris for doing all this amazing work as well. Yeah. And uh, join us tomorrow as we also do another double track for the very final day of Neil Friend. It's going to be another double day. So, yeah, join us then. Double barrel. Excellent. Can't wait. Cheers. See you on the flip side. Bye.